Hi everyone, today I will show you how I animate this project for smallest projector in the world. This tutorial will be in two parts and in first part I will show you this 3D transform animation and simple parallax effect like this. So take a seat, relax and enjoy. Okay, let's start from this 3D transform. I have this blur effect and for create this I need simple rectangle and circle. Let's align center and place above image. Now I'm select these shapes and in right panel we have subtract, just press and we have these connected shapes. Then I'm hold control select rectangle and add background blur amount 9 and brightness uh, maybe 6 now have this blur effect and under this image I have two more same images for 3D transform let's group this and rename screen let him copy and paste on my next artboard and now we can animate this i duplicate my artboard and in prototype tab wired up this artboard with trigger tab auto animate easy note and duration one second in design tab on my second artboard I move my blur layer down and in right panel I have 3D transform and set X rotation minus 40 move down image move down and X rotation minus 40 next image move down and make it smaller X rotation minus 30 and change opacity maybe 40 last image make smaller X rotation minus 20 and change opacity maybe 22 ok let's move these layers maybe like this now when we go into preview desktop preview we will have this animation for more interesting effect let's add rotation I duplicate this artboard and on this artboard in Y rotation I'm set 30 and on last artboard minus 30 let's move up okay in this case I don't need this step I can even delete this artboard then in prototype tab I am wired up my first screen tap out and made one second and between these two awards it will be trigger time zero delay is in out and duration two second now when I'm going to desktop preview we will have this nice loop animation now we can add this to the project If I want to add this animation to my project, I duplicate our with project and now I need add this interaction and layers from animations to each of these artboards. I delete these old layers and just copy and paste new layers with animation. Let's place in right 
place maybe like here now in prototype tab I duplicate interaction this will be time zero delay two second and from this first award this will be tap is in out and one second now when I'm going to desktop preview we will have this loop animation and we have issue with this light and to fix it I'm just select this layer with light and when we have this arrow in 3d transform I'm just move down and it means that this layer will be more closer to viewer and same do for this project move down and make it smaller and in this case lights will work like I want okay now let's add animation to this light just rotate maybe like here and in this hardboard rotate maybe like here now let's go to pro desktop preview and we will have this nice animation Now let's create a simple parallax effect for next screen. I duplicate last artboard and I want that next animations uh, play when I click on this projector. I wired up this projector with next screen. We step auto animate, is and out and duration 3 second. Same do for this projector. And now we can move our layers lock projector light and title as layers select and move up like this and now i don't need this projector and i can delete this and this projector on previous artboards now unlock this projector move up unlock lights and title and let's increase font size and character spacing for this title now let's see how it looks when I press on this projector we will have this animation for more parallax effect we can move these layers on previous artboards down like here these layers down move this down and on our last board move these layers up this title buttons going up up menu up lights maybe like here maybe maybe let's make it smaller okay and let's see how it looks and press on projector and we have this smooth animation move on to next screen I duplicate this robot in prototype tab I wired up projector with next artboard uh, select trigger keys and gamepad and choose arrow down auto animate is an out three second when you have a lot of layers in your project for animation you will have issues with your animation because of name layers and to minimize this issue you can just delete all other layers and make smaller artboards and use only 
for three are for three screens for your animations it will be for previous current and next screen this minimizes your issue to zero now i have uh, this projectile number one and number two on last artboard i'm replace this projector like here and delete old projector from these artboards now i need move this project to behind my artboard and change opacity to zero now on last artboard i move all these layers up and move this projector in right place now let's see how it looks when i press down we'll have this animation on this artboard let's rotate main projector like this hide this projector and select projector number two change opacity to zero and rotate in vertical position to then change opacity back unhide this layers and maybe move this text up duplicate this artboard and in prototype tab wire the projector to our last artboard trigger game keys and gamepad arrow down auto animate and change easy now to snap duration to second now on last artboard let's rotate this projector projector number two change opacity to 100 move to the right and rotate in same position let's move this text down maybe to the left maybe like this and when we have when we choose snap it will be effect like this i press arrow down and we have this animation now let's see what we have in this moment press on this projector arrow down arrow down nice and this is end of part one in next part we will create more parallax and this interesting effect when projector wired up with gadgets see you in second part